First Minister, Your Majesty. After having to cancel her Scotland week last year because of COVID, this was the Queen's first audience with Nicola Sturgeon in Edinburgh for some time. Yes, and, and, uh, a year's gap is incredible. Absolutely. So come, come and take a seat. Have you back here? It is also the Queen's first time in Scotland since elections here, which returned majority support for independence. It made today's meeting with the monarch that much more interesting. It's not unusual for the Queen to meet the First Minister of Scotland, but with everything that's happened this year, today's meeting is more significant, isn't it? Uh, so the constitutional situation is very fragile indeed, and it makes the royal family's position very difficult. They want to emphasise that Scotland's part of the UK. On the other hand, they don't want to be stepping into politics in a way that could backfire. When she spoke to us last year, the First Minister didn't sound the most enthusiastic supporter of monarchy. Am I a monarchist? I have got huge respect uh, for the Queen and for all she does and for uh, the work that the royal family uh, does. Uh, these are things that people That's should definitive decide. Yes, um, look, I think if you were starting all over again, you might not, uh, but we are where we are. And so as the Queen landed in Stirling this afternoon, a chance to question those who live in Scotland about her role here. For independence or against independence? For it. If Scotland's going to be independent, uh -huh. you think the Queen should or shouldn't be head of state? She shouldn't, no, she shouldn't be head of state anyway. This is the whole of the UK. She spends a lot of time up here. She makes it no secret that she loves coming to Scotland as well. So I still think it's as valid as it ever was. The Queen has Scottish roots, of course, and SNP policy is to keep her as head of state, much like Canada or New Zealand. But more than half of independent supporters say they'd rather be a republic if Scotland left the UK. The royal standard was lowered after the Queen left Stirling Castle. Monarchy remains a sensitive issue in the independence debate. Chris News at 10, Stirling.